I'm saying? And so I've had a partner of mine that I knew through Chief, because like I say, me and Chief been cool for a long yeah. time. He was already kind of mashing it. The part of my name, Pretty Black. I came across a little female that was already, you know, mm -hmm. kind of indulging in it. You know what I'm saying? So I called Pretty Black. He kind of laced me up. This is what you need to do. You need to woo, go get your phone. Yada, yada. Like back then, they had a lot of, they had a thing called A&E. And, &E and uh, 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 damn, the Observer. Magazine and things like that, where they would advertise the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I remember that. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. He told they me how at a strip club. Yeah, so he told me how to go down there, put the girl on the app, we'll get the phone. Yeah, it was on and popping. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Give her the phone, it's going to rain. You know what I'm saying? And so that's kind of how I got started. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Exactly. So, man, you know, you. You, you you got this thing called pimp on the back of your name, the pimp. You know, yeah. that's the part we about to yeah. talk about. When like did the that pimp. start? You know, I had they, we had know, pimping caprice, pimping caprice. That you got that's a song on him. Like yeah. uh, yeah. we've had a few of you guys on here. Nobody want to break Fat down pimp? the pimping though. <laughs> I mean, you know, my boy he broke down a little bit. You know, pimp can break down a little bit every time he comes to give yeah. me something. Yeah, yeah. Break down the pimping for me. Like if you're gonna really get out on Boss Talk 101 today, tell me about how was it when you first decided I'm gonna jump into the game. And how old yeah. were you? And who introduced it? to you? Uh, I was maybe, I, I consider myself kind of like a late bloomer. I was like 26. Oh, you were 26? Yeah. I wasn't 17 you know, you know, 16 or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I was like 26. And because, you know, I, where, I was, where I was at with this shit, everybody in my neighborhood, niggas wanted to be drug dealers. I came out, you know, early 90s, late 80s, Early 90s, niggas wanted to sell weed, sell crack. Wasn't no pimps. I didn't see no pimps. You know what I'm saying? As a, as, you know, in high school, junior high, you know, I didn't see no pimping. I, I went to Prairie View. Uh, for, I went to college for a year. And when I was in Houston, we went to a strip club in Houston. And I think we seen some pimps in Houston. That was like my first little woo woo. -woo. But I still wasn't just, you know, turned on. We still was in the doing check licks, uh, selling, like I said, selling drugs. But I was the worst drug dealer you ever wanted to meet. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Now, what did you do wrong? I don't know. That's the thing, man. I never made a thousand dollars selling what? drugs. What? And that one, I'm, I'm saying. And like, how long did you probably, do it for? No, I probably made a thousand dollars all at one time. But I'm just saying, like. In one night, you know how niggas make a thousand dollars, two thousand. Like I just couldn't make the money like that. And at one point, I had, I had everything. But you know, I got weed. I'm smoking it. You know, I got a little cocaine. My little white girl, she sniffing it up. That's uh, why he couldn't make the money. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we partying and shit. You know what I'm saying. And so I just and and you know, uh, I just I just for that just wasn't my shit. You know what I'm saying. But that's what everybody around me was doing. You know what I'm saying. I didn't really see no pimps. Up until, you know, I went to North Dallas one day, and we went to the, uh, I went to a strip club, and shit, it was, it was just, it was, it was on. And then, you know, I, it, it was crazy. I got a partner, you know. Who's that, that baby? Where you was? Oh, wow, you was at a oh, white one. Yeah, I was at a white too. You, yeah, knowing you, you. lipstick. Ooh, oh, yeah. ooh, lipstick. No lipstick is right there. I was, I was wondering if he was at Rhino, Spearman no, Rhino. No, 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 he on the track. Spearman Rhino No, 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 he on the track. He over there by lipstick. Pandora. I know what lipstick yeah. is. Yeah, that's the track, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it was going down, and we in the club, we leaving, at, this like at 2 in the morning, we leaving, and behind Pandora, behind lipstick, it's going down behind him. I'm talking about they walk in, it's everything going it's on. It's rocking the yeah, track, rocking. they own it. Yeah, so that's you know, that's what kind of when I first saw it, you know, other than just being on TV, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, type shit. And this was like, like I say, early 2000s, you know what I'm saying? And so I've had a partner of mine that I knew through Chief, because like I say, me and Chief been cool for a long yeah. time. He was already kind of mashing in the part of my name, Pretty Black. I came across a little female that was already you know, mm -hmm. kind of indulging in it. You know what I'm saying? So I called Pretty Black. He kind of laced me up. This is what you need to do. You need to woo, go get your phone, yada, yada. Like back then, they had a lot of, they had a thing called A&E. And, &E and uh, 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 damn, the Observer 
magazine and things like that where they would advertise the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I remember that. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So he told they me something at a strip club. Yeah, so he told me how to go down there, put the girl on the app, get the phone. It was on and popping. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Give her the phone, it's going to rain. You know what I'm saying? And so that's kind of how I got started. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and eventually and, 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 it led to me being... Who you know, was the first one? I mean, you ain't got something. That girl was the first one. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You white girl? Yeah. No, that was a, that was actually a black girl. Really? Yeah. But the the first one that actually gave me some real money was a white girl. Though. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the black girl, how long did you keep her for? Because she wasn't making you that much money like the white girl. Was. The first one maybe a month and a half. It yeah, because no, she didn't last that long. Yeah, it wasn't that I long. quit paying because I really didn't know what I was doing too. I had it one time. Yes. Yeah, I had it. Well, you yeah, well, well, I, well it was, this? this was this was a long time ago, <laughs> and I had her man. And she, you know, she worked at the strip club, man. Mm-hmm. And I had her man, and uh, man, she killed my pimping dog. She was hard headed. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't. Oh, yeah, I could, did you make any money off her? Not really, not like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I was better at selling drugs than pimping. We were backwards. You, you know what I'm saying? You got to be firm, man. She yeah, got a whole head. No, nah, she was hard at it. I couldn't figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Pimpology, the book. It didn't help me. The yeah. thing I was trying to figure this track thing out. It was confusing. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.